All right, I'm going to rub off the masking. What you can do is use an eraser or you can use your finger. I'm just going to use my finger and rub this off. I've been known to give my fingers rub burn from doing this on huge paintings where I had tons of masking and then sometimes I do resort to an eraser. But I just like the um, um, I just like the physical aspects of painting as well and I just like to do it with my own finger but sometimes you need to use an eraser but this time not so much. This is just a small painting so that's what we've got. And now what I'm going to do is just go in on these edges and kind of um, where it's needed, just going with a little light blue, light green color that matches the background, just refine some of these edges so that it looks more smooth. Usually when you use masking, it's pretty important to go back in and refine the edges because what will happen is, just like I was telling you about having too many sharp edges, um, I must dip my brush in my coffee, that wouldn't have been cute. Um, the edges are a little harsh whenever you use masking, so you always want to go in, if you can, scrub the edges. Of course we don't hardly have any room to scrub at all here so um, you just have to uh, do what you can so here I'm just kind of painting around the edges which is the next best thing and just trying to refine a little bit get rid of these rough edges hard edges um, so it looks a little bit better I'm just carefully going around with my paintbrush and just as much as possible painting right next, right up to these edges so that they um, are a little bit smoother and more pleasing to the eye. If you can avoid using masking altogether, that's great because it's hard to avoid that harsh look that that you get. Now I lost some of my E right there so what I'm going to use later is I'll go in with this product. It's called Pelican Graphic White. You can also use a white acrylic paint and I'll just go in and add those areas that got um, that didn't get masked properly. I've heard that this product is going, uh, they're not going to make it anymore, so, but you can use, um, you can use a white acrylic paint instead. Just be careful with those acrylics, because once they dry on your brush, your brush is dead, so. And I'm just going to continue this painting carefully around the, um, around these letters just to carefully get rid of these rough edges. And I probably won't record all of that. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of what I'm doing. And you'll notice I'm not only painting right around the edge, but I'm kind of taking the paint out so there's not, so there's a better transition. Darken that up a little bit, so I'm just going to add a little bit of paint to my brush. And I'm 
much as possible, keep the integrity of these letters. So you can see now the, the, the sides of the letters are a lot smoother. Say here, they're smoother now than, see how they're still kind of rough over here? So I'm just painting around them.